Hey guys, what's up? After my last video on Zealous, a ton of people switched over to Zealous and kind of dropped the profitability a little bit. So I'm actually mining a new coin now and I'm gonna show you guys how to mine it and why I think mining Flux is actually one of the better coins you can mine right now. So let's get into how to GPU mine Flux. So like I mentioned, the more people that hop on Zealous, the lower the profits get because the same amount of coins get split to more people. So if we go to the NVIDIA 3070 page on Hashrate NO, you can see that Zealous is actually all the way down at the fifth or sixth coin, whereas Flux is sneaking its way up to the top here. Flux is even head of Leo at 22 cents profit per 3070. So that's very good. Now, there's a couple things I really like about Flux and why I'm excited to mine it. Flux has been around for a long time and it is a very well established coin. I'll have a link to the website down below, but Flux is a real project. It's got AI compute type stuff involved in it. I'm by no means an expert on the Flux project, but I do know that it is a well established coin that has been around for a long time. And what this means is that you can potentially be comfortable holding Flux long term instead of having to specifically sell at the peak of altcoin season like you might need to do with like a leo or zealous which are much smaller newer riskier coins than perhaps holding flux so besides the flux project itself what we really care about on this channel is the price movement because we're all trying to make money here and quickly we'll take a look at the last year of flux and the max graph and you can see that Flux has been around since 2018. So like I said, a six year coin and it has had some crazy pumps. So in 2022, it went all the way to $3 and recently it went up to about 170 ish. And right now it's sitting at about 83 cents. So we have about a 4X potential to get back to all time high. And the benefit of Flux is that it's a very established coin. Like I mentioned, it is 300th on the coin ranking scale with a market cap of 300 million. One last thing I wanna mention is that even though Flux's price is up, the yield is still pretty good. So you can see here that Flux's yield is sitting at the exact same amount, actually higher than it was in November. So even though Flux has seen a little bit of a price increase, you're still getting the same amount of coins that you were a few months ago. So let's get into how to GPU mine Flux on HiveOS. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my workers here and let's do this on the founder rig. That's all 3070 cards, 12 of them. I'm going to unset my current flight sheet right here. And now this rig is missing a flight sheet so we need to create a new one. And if you're totally new, a flight sheet is basically just instructions that tells your rig what to mine and where to mine it. So we need a wallet and we need a pool because we're gonna to mine to the pool and then the pool is gonna pay out to our wallet. In this video, we're gonna be using Hero Miners, the sponsor of this video. Hero Miners has a great flux pool and they've been around for a long time. So the first thing that you need to do is you need a flux wallet. So go into wallets here and you go to add wallet and you're gonna type in flux and then you're gonna enter your address. Now, since Flux is a very established coin, it's on a lot of different exchanges and on a lot of different wallet platforms. I personally like the simplistic method, the quickest way to start mining it. So I mine to Trade Ogre Exchange. Now, a lot of people will say don't do this, but as long as you don't keep a lot of coins on the exchange and you only get about one payout per day, then you're not gonna have any issues and it allows you to quickly switch to other coins or send them off to a wallet once you have a decent amount built up. So you go to deposit here once you're logged into your account and you'll just select Flux right here and it's going to give you your deposit address, same with any wallet or other exchange and then you're gonna take that into your HiveOS and paste in your address, give it a name. So this is gonna be Flux Trade Ogre and then I like to save it as a global wallet and hit create. I'm not gonna do it because I already have one. Okay, so then at that point, we now we need to create our flight sheet. So if you go to flight sheets right here in HiveOS, then we're gonna select Flux as our coin. In the wallet, we're gonna put Flux Trade Ogre. And for the pool, we're gonna select Hero Miners. Now the great thing about Hero Miners is they have a ton of different servers. So if you are located anywhere they're gonna have servers close to you. Brazil, India, Kazakhstan, USA, West, East. Also they have Canada servers. 
So I'm gonna do the USA East because that's closest to me and I'm gonna hit apply. You can also select multiple. So if one server goes down, you'll automatically mine to the next closest one you select. Now for the miner, we wanna select LOL miner and then we'll enter the name of our flight sheet. So this is gonna be Flux Hero Miners. Now the last thing we need to do is get our overclock values because you want to basically put your overclock values in this extra config arguments right here in the setup miner config. And the reason you wanna overclock your cards or technically underclock, cause that's what we're doing is to minimize power usage while increasing the amount of hash rate you're getting. So you're spending less on power and getting more coin. Now the easiest way to figure out what overclock settings to use is to go back to hash rate NO under the 3070 GPU and select flux. And from here, if you scroll down, it's actually gonna give you the overclock settings for LOL miner. So you can just copy these and then paste them directly into the flight sheet here. Now, those are just rough numbers. If you wanna get the best settings, I recommend going to Red Fox Crypto's channel. I'll have a link down to his channel below. He is an awesome YouTuber, one of the guys who inspired me to actually start getting into mining YouTubing. He's a great guy and I recommend giving him a follow. So he has a spreadsheet here which breaks down every 30 series GPU and the different overclock settings for them. So this is the format you want to use. This is for 3070 cards and this is gonna give you great results. This is setting a core offset to 300 locking the memory clock to 5001 and then locking the core clock to 1425. And then once we do this, we can hit apply changes and go ahead and update our flight sheet. And then on our workers page, you see this red rocket ship right here because our rig doesn't have a flight sheet. We need to actually click that, go to flight sheets and then hit the rocket ship on our flight sheet to apply it to our rig. So shortly, this is gonna start mining and then we'll check out the stats in Hero Miners. Now, in the meantime, one thing I wanna note is that if you notice, Flux is a high powered coin or at least higher power than what you're traditionally mining with Zealous or Aleo. So you can see Flux is saying 149 watts right here, whereas Aleo is at 120 and Zealous is at 110. So you need to make sure that your rigs are actually specced properly with enough power supply capacity to run a higher wattage rig. But the good news is that with our underclock settings that we used, we're not actually gonna be using 150 watts per card. We're actually gonna be using much less. And you can see right here, we're only using 100 watts per card or maybe 105 watts per card. So this is much more efficient with these settings I showed you. So you can see we are up and mining. We're getting about 580 souls and we are sitting at a total wattage of about 1400 watts. So let's go into Hero Miners. I'll show you guys how to set your payout threshold because that's very important. You only wanna get paid out about one time a day, especially if you're mining to an exchange. So to go to the Hero Miner site, you go to flux.herominers.com and if you're mining on Windows, this is where you'll have all the different servers right here that you'll need to paste into your miner config. But if you're doing it through HiveOS, you don't need to do it like that because you can do it through the UI. So next thing you wanna do is paste your wallet address down into this payments right here. So your stats and payment history, paste your wallet and hit lookup. And then it's gonna give you all your stats right here. So you can see here that my last share was submitted less than a minute ago. So we are indeed mining, it's showing up to the pool. Now we need to make sure that our settings are set so we're only getting about one payout per day. So how I like to do this is to take our hash rate so it looks like we're getting about 700 souls and we can go back to the hero miners and they have a super handy calculator here. If we put in 700 souls, it says we're gonna be getting about seven flux per day. So that means that we need to set our payout threshold a little bit under seven. So if you go to the settings icon here in the top right, you can click on that. And then you have to put in your IP address here to actually change your settings. So I'm gonna blur this out, but you, that's where you put your IP address. And then you set your minimum payout. So I'm gonna set mine to six, hit the set button, 
and then you're good to go. You can go back to the page to monitor your rig. So now that our hash rate has built up to 700 souls, let's see what the profitability is gonna be on this rig. So 700 souls and about 1400 watts. So if we go back to hash rate in O and go to the calculator, then we can look up flux here and put 700 souls for 1400 watts, hit enter. And down below, it's gonna show us we're making $2 profit per day just on that rig. So if I switch all three of my rigs on there, I'm gonna be making about six bucks a day profit. And more importantly, 21 flux a day, which is gonna be pretty sweet because I wanna build a nice bag of flux. Flux is a coin that you can stake, so you can mine flux and then stake your rewards to get extra flux. It's like compounding flux, 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 flux. So that's about it for this video. I'll leave a link down below to Hero Miners if you wanna get signed up and start mining flux. Other than that, happy mining guys. It's nice that we have a lot of different profitable coins to mine right now. I love where GPU mining is going into 2025. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.